Bracket Broy. Yeah. 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 All right. James Bracket Broy. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the second thing that came to my head. I don't know. McEnroe, tennis player. You can't yeah. be serious. <laughs> is what you should say. You can't be serious. Yeah, that was like his like catchphrase because he uttered it like you know in a in a in an impassioned heat during a match to a ref, and that became like his moment. And so oh. he would say it in commercial after commercial after public appearance. Oh, so that that, that, that became his. I didn't do it. Essentially, okay. although I think it lasted a little longer than Bart's fifteen <laughs> minutes, and now he's just another schmo in a box factory. <laughs> <laughs> Once his time in the spotlight was done, they're like to the box factory with you. Yeah, that's where they'll go. <laughs> <laughs> My tennis player is a box. <laughs> a box. It's just a it's just it's just a box with a tennis racket on top of it. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's a, or, or with a sweatband on top if you prefer. <laughs> it's it's wrapped around the whole box. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's that's the one. You know what the, I'm thinking the, the least the least plausible one. Do you Tell think us, um, Penny for a thought? What were yeah. you thinking? Do you think that yeah. like the food on the food on the ship? Right. I was thinking yeah. about this. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. You think the vegans have won in that in that world? Technically, they have. Um, I guess so. Te- because technically, uh, no animal is killed in order to eat meat. Unless so, you're I working you, at Cisco's restaurant, so it's all like yeah. lab grown. But but what if you what if you 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 like live with Robert and like he has goats and he's like he's like fucking oh, make some, some Robert fucking... is not a vegan. Robert will fucking yeah. But you know, I mean yeah, in, in the world, family. like people are still making fucking birria, right? In yeah, this yeah. world, right? Yeah. Well, in this world, what's what's happening is that there's a there's a taco truck in every corner. <laughs> no, there's like designated <laughs> oh, okay, like sorry. cultural like. Oh, you're good at gumbo. You're our country's gumbo expert. So you'll have like a designated culturally, historically preserved restaurant <laughs> where you serve really? gumbo. Yeah. Like the original so there's way. Like a, yeah. There's a King and Taco. It'll be called uh, the gumbo zone. World? Yeah. There's like an original King Taco that's like preserved or the original McDonald's. And the, Wait, so is lab grown meat considered vegan? I think so. Huh. It's still animal. I would hesitate to to declare, you know, that decision. So no animals were harmed in the production of this meat. But yeah, it's still animal but... product, right? Yeah, but yeah. think of it this way as well. What if they took just plant proteins and they managed to make them so uh, they just tr- transform them in a way that is identical to beef? Like well, not see, even these, these are not, thought experiments. That's not animal it's not beef, product, dude. These are still yeah. questions yeah. here. I, so I'm just uncertain about the answer. I'm saying like lab grown meat, which is actual like meat, like it's actual animal meat. But but no, you know? no but no animals were harmed. But that's not the. That's point not of always veganism. the only like. Then, that's yeah, not, that's the not the always reason. the only prerequisite. Then I don't the want thing. that meat. Then <laughs> yeah, there needs to be pain and anguish <laughs> embedded in its DNA. The soul of the meat needs to have some trauma. I mean, these are all questions we will have to answer in the future. Do you think? Do you think there's like, uh, like pickers picking like fucking fruit and vegetables? No, they're they're all being synthesized. Well, except in France, where they're making wine. Fucking Robert, Robert still has yeah, Robert's force. Yeah, Robert still has a a, a slave labor (laughs) making his wine (laughs) because they're not paid. There's nobody's paid in this world, you know. So (laughs) you think they they do do it for the love of the game? Their hearts. They do it for the love of picking wine. (laughs) Uh, Unless he pays them in wine, and then. That's fine. Yeah, like that's he's true. like, this is this is you know an easy route to free authentic it. wines. <laughs> it's like this is the things where you think about Star Trek lore a little too hard, and you're like, none of it works. None of it fits together correctly. <laughs> yeah, well, who knows? Maybe maybe Robert <laughs> does have a few like you know well, older well, robots. <laughs> well, you said you said like money is more like to buy like like luxuries, luxury yeah. items, right? So what if what if like. You're like, well, we could send to these wine, but if you want the real shit, there's like small batches that like Robert makes. That, that could like, be it. That, that could like be him what's and his happening. friends get. You know, like how some people like have like micro, bre- not micro yeah. breweries. They have yeah, like, micro- like like a brewery in their garage. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they brew, like, literally, small I don't know about that yeah. stuff. I always feel like I'm gonna get sick. Wait, hold well, on. I just we had should a, we I should just... we should we should start making beer in your garage, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
I found a spider in there the other day, so I don't know if it's. Safe. I mean, wait, we call <laughs> it. We bro. call the 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 spider, spider bro. Spider, spider yeah. bro. Spider bro. Spider bro. <laughs> I just had a thought. Is Cynthia Hall that limitation? Is that just because it's on the end, like the Starfleet ship? Like otherwise, no. if you had a replicator at All home, all Cynthia Hall is like this. Where no, but I mean, like on the ship, minutes. can you could a replicator make actual alcohol if no. it didn't have that limitation? No, it's built into it. It's like but, told you can't. Okay, how are you so of, sure? What because kind of that, big brother ass they, corporation. They've talked about it. Like it's why they went to when when um Picard went to visit Robert, and Robert was like, "Huh, those replicators, all they can make is synthahol." You know, like well, I guess they needed to make some way for his like life to be relevant. So yeah. they're mandating health. <laughs> it's kind of like we've had this conversation. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they they are but, yeah. I don't like health. it. I don't like it. I don't yeah. like yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, like it's, and where Deanna you know gets what? upset because she wants real ice cream. Yeah, she was like, yeah. I want delicious salt and straw level you ice know what? cream. Yeah. Not- <laughs> that that settles it. Star Trek is, is a dystopia. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, what it's can, a culinary what, dystopia. What can't you what can't you make there? Can you make like heroin? Uh I don't hmm. synthoin. <laughs> Syntheroin. Yeah. yeah, you have to you, you can make synth syntheroin. Yeah. Could you make it sounds like, like cocaine a character? Like cocaine and then like leave your body in 15 minutes like real cocaine <laughs> that sucks <laughs> you gotta use the mark though <laughs> <laughs> does leave a mark <laughs> oh uh, I don't know maybe drug use gets uh, addressed later. I don't want to live in this world okay. then <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't want to live in the world where all like right. the replicator is all we have to eat and that's I wouldn't mind yeah. completely reversible like drug alternates you know <laughs> like, safe, like, like super safe drug alternates that like you know, you want, do you want a meth that takes you through the whole process of like becoming a meth head and you're all skinny and you're losing mm, your teeth I mean no and no, then just, it goes oh we can reverse just, that you just, just reverse the it. highs please <laughs> <laughs> just the highs please just the highs I want to I want every Everything to be okay. I want my health. Want my yeah, like the yeah. the big problem with drugs is that you know they the kind of hurt you. Yeah. yeah. What if they didn't? You know what? what if it was then, just great? This world, <laughs> I, I'm sure of it. This world has no good music in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, music sucks in this fucking. Well, timeline, if man. if it's <laughs> if it's starting from this current timeline, all the music's just generated by AI. Yeah, so, sucks. yeah no we're getting there. <laughs> no pain. Keanu yeah. Reeves hates yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> no Elliot Smith. I bet you there's no clubs like Belly. In the <laughs> oh, belly. yeah, dude. <laughs> Only on that one planet. <laughs> it's just I that refuse one. to keep <laughs> Belly relevant for more than three episodes. <laughs> belly? <laughs> Is... <laughs> You just you just set Ricardo a challenge <laughs> to make sure Belly <laughs> remains relevant yeah. for years to come. Years We're to come. We're gonna work it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, oh, I should play wow. the intro song. Yeah, wait. Been, what are yeah. we? What are we doing? Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ! Oh, I thought you. Were, I thought you were gonna play the intro song to Belly. I was like, I was all, I was, I was all in. I was like, are oh, we gonna make that our new intro song? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're wait, tell, Marty, you're like, you were supposed to do this. You're like, this was supposed to happen. I could like, make, make it, us it, a it song with like Belly and Star Trek together. <laughs> it Congratulations. Triggered, it triggered the thing so hard, the YouTube things. It did not like it. So <laughs> the belly right. thing? Yeah, the belly song. It's a licensed song. So. You know what? I, I, I'm starting to hate YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get Nate on it. Nate's gotta make us a, a, a belly a belly a remix version. of some kind, yeah. So it has to be entirely a cappella. That's like his then, next uh, <laughs> sensual. And then uh, John needs to make a version of our 10 forward lounge with oh it's bathed God. in UV light. Yes, that's UV light. <laughs> All of our eyes are just like glowing. That would be Marvin, amazing, can, can you can you <laughs> can you make a a private link to it to like the belly intro uh, with with or, like something I don't know, dude. Like, I'll do it. I'll, like, do, I'll try is there something. Way to do it so it doesn't flag us. I'll try it. I'll make like a private. I'll make like an yeah. unlisted link and just just like not make it monetized. And I'll put it somewhere. Yeah, that's, that's the I'm best we can curious. do. To everyone. <laughs> yeah, I want to see it because because TikTok will let it fly, but YouTube won't. Oh, then I just post to a, a link TikTok. to like one of those like GIF yeah. to MP3 sites. <laughs> yeah. We'll just post it on. We'll just post yeah. it on Imgur. You know what? Just post then, it. Uh, just post it on on YouPorn. Yeah, YouPorn wouldn't yeah, care. There you they go. wouldn't care. They're like, but yeah. we love Belly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There's already titties. And that was the yeah. other thing. There was like full blown titties throughout a lot of it. So I had to like cut around a lot of it. You know what? Uh, you give me, you <laughs> give me the uncensored. around each titty. Give me the uncensored and I'll blur them. I'll blur those titties. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, we can do a blur. I think we can figure it out. Mm. We can figure it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marvin's clipboard is just a bunch of blue circles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, this my becomes goodness. like a week long project to make. <laughs> 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 so excited St- star trek version of uh, <laughs> oh my Daddy. god and it's just stupid like jordy's stupid reptilian thing like in the club yeah. uh, just moving. Yeah. <laughs> we like composited him in there and he's just like moving around <laughs> he's amazing minutes. honestly yeah. we I spent all our that. youtube money on this fucking on, on <laughs> visual effects <laughs> We, we hired like third floor to make yeah. sure they can like make a pre visualization of it for us, and we're like, "Oh, that looks good. Let's do it this way." <laughs> no, guys, oh, no. guys, I know we said we were making some money, and you do, but now, now we owe a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh no, we've reached a point where we owe money. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's awful. Uh, but we owe we- the DMX ex- estate a bunch of money. <laughs> Uh, it's not the DMV, it's a DMX. DMX. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Uh, the drum head is what we watched this week. And we were going to discuss it last week, but we got sick. It happens. It's okay. But, uh, you know, it's now we're sickies. discussing it. Yeah. Discussing it this week now. So that's April 29th of 1991 when the drum head first aired this mm-hmm. crazy ass episode where Jonathan Frakes directed it and he made all sorts of cool looking camera moves and shit. So yeah, let's do it, Dan. Let's go. Let's go back around the sun. All right. So around that time on April 29th of 1991, or it's a little before that, actually, I only got two ba- like m- main points in this trip around the sun. Whoa. First, which is on April 26th, the TV series Dinosaurs premiered on ABC. Oh, no. It was one of the last oh, things no. Jim Henson worked on prior to his death. Of note, Jessica Walter, Mrs. Bluth herself, was the mother of that family. The oh, Sinclairs. really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. he's all that yeah. bitch. And they're called the Sinclairs, like the oil company, because you know Sinclair. Haha. There's also a BNP and also a bunch of like oil company, like com- seriously. Like, people Wait a com- minute. Yeah. Are you yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. serious? Yeah. So actually, I'll just skip right to the series finale. It's oh, notable was, because yes. they died in the Ice Age, inadvertently triggered by Earl, the main dad guy, because he proposed something that killed all the plants which made them want more rain which meant they needed more clouds so what do they do they started putting bombs in the volcanoes and so it created this cloud cover that produced a global cooling event that killed them all yep the last shot is of them huddled on the couch and going i'm sure this will all blow over and then i think i think a text prompt comes on screen that says the ice age happened (laughs) (laughs) i didn't look up the clip but yeah it was a pretty somber ending for a show it was also very expensive to produce because it was like really advanced puppetry stuff you know yeah yeah this this isn't the puppetry of the penis this is expensive (laughs) stuff yeah yeah way more elaborate all right on the 28th A new, mostly forgotten movie took over at the box office because it was a 1930s style screwball comedy directed by John Landis called Oscar. It starred Sylvester Stallone as an ex-mob boss named Snaps Provolone (laughs) getting into hijinks concerning his rebellious daughter played by Marissa Tomei. And I don't care what anyone says, she's still Marissa Tomei. (laughs) Snaps Provolone. <laughs> Snaps Provolone. Yeah. I even looked up the trailer and like there are like two consecutive shots of Sylvester Stallone just going, what? <laughs> His enforcer's name is Jimmy Gouda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah. And Jimmy uh, Manchego. <laughs> it, 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 we released to mixed reviews and I think the reviews remain like mostly mixed even today I'll, although i think people have warmed up to it because it's more of a novelty now well is it a novelty because it's a screwball comedy well it's because like sylvester stallone trying to be comedy and they tried to film it like a 1930s style screwball comedy it was set in the 1930s so, so it has like, it has no action as it, it have action no it's not really, it's, it's, not a, really. It's, a, it's a screwball comedy Here, here's the thing is that at this point arnold was doing comedy and he was doing oh. really well so th- there was always a competition with these two. It all falls and into place the moment you said that. Yeah. Yeah, and and the thing is that like, like this was post kindergarten cop, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. and kindergarten. Yeah. And the thing is that like I think Arnold picked the right people though. Mm-hmm. Uh, so who is this? John Landis? Who did yeah, you know? John Landis. Yeah. See, uh, I don't know, dude. I I think <laughs> <laughs> to, to this day, like Stallone has like some good one liners, mm-hmm. but he's not funny like like Arnold is. You know? Yeah. Well, well I, yeah, Arnold, I, I, I see that. Part of the funniness of Arnold, especially in Kindergarten Cop, is that he's just like this huge, buff, 
angry looking man yeah. teaching children, right? I mean, we're, right, that's right. just a funny scenario. Like, I, I, Sylvester Stallone, like, like, Ar- like Arnold doesn't even do like a comedy acting in that movie. No, He's no, almost no. like just yeah. being Arnold in a situation he doesn't belong in almost, yeah. you know, like, but, but they work with, with, with Arnold because Ar- I think Arnold is more charming where, but, yes, like, I think, that's but I think, thing. but I think Stallone can do more dramatic things. Like, well, like yes, seriously Stallone dramatic is a good stuff. dramatic actor when yeah. he needs to be like, yeah. I think he's proven that many times over mm-hmm. that he actually has good dramatic acting chops when he needs yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah he's just, Rocky three. Yeah, yeah. Rocky <laughs> four, and Rocky five, and Rocky yeah. seven, ro- Rocky eight. I have a confession. Yes, well, yeah. what's the? Co- I've never seen a Rocky movie. Oh, oh newbie God. Rocky. What we about what about Three Ninjas? <laughs> newbie <with> Rocky. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Have you seen any Creed movies? No. Okay, we should watch okay, Rocky. Good. <laughs> the first Rocky is an no. interesting anachronism. Now you should watch Rocky one. Two, four, and then the Creed movies. That's it. <laughs> no, not I like don't three. Skip three. Three is like great. Three. I like the stupid. <laughs> if you skip three, me- you miss Apollo Creed and Rocky running in the water together in half shirts in slow motion, Baywatch yeah, style. I'm just and hugging each other. The narrative thread. <laughs> the narrative thread really is <laughs> one, two, four. Maybe Rocky, Rocky Balboa. And then the Creed movies. Well, you actually, you do need three for the narrative thread because that's when they become friends. And the four is when they so. talk. Oh, like, that's spoiler a really important. alert. My God. Well, that's not, that's not a spoiler. <laughs> four is when he dies. Spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> oh my God. Four is when he's killed, like beaten to death in the ring by yeah. a Russian boxer. Yeah, I've just never, dies, I've never dies. seen it. I don't know. I mean, I've and seen it. And they yell, it's like, just an exhibition. Then, uh, you know who would have been great as Rocky did? Who? Uh, Patrick Stewart. <laughs> I yeah. kind of agree with that. <laughs> Perfect, but but, he, but, but, but but fighting old timey like old timey yeah. with a mustache, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah well, that's, sure. well yeah. if you fight old timey, that's because that was bare knuckle boxing. Yeah, back yeah, in the day, yeah. I can actually see him as yeah, a bare Patrick knuckle Stewart boxer. Could definitely be yeah. a pugilist. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a fucking bare knuckle. He's, he's got the tape and the bare knuckle boxing. I can see yeah. that actually. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, I'm in. Yeah, I'm in too. Green light this thing. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Let's also green light these sponsors who are helping out our podcast, huh? Huh? Yeah. Like ExpressVPN. We love our sponsors. Thanks for yeah. your help, ExpressVPN. I know. It's been great because ExpressVPN also makes sure that none of us can raw dog the internet. I mean, we can raw dog it if we want to, but yeah. you know, if you turn it on, you'll be protected in the sense yes. that your ISP and other websites will have no idea. Who's accessing who from where? If you know what you're doing, like you can't just turn the ISP, the VPN, you have to like go into incognito mode and all that stuff. But anyway, if you want to make sure that you're going into the internet correctly, use a good VPN, like ExpressVPN. There's no activity logs or connection logs. And that's been tested time and time again, as they've been subpoenaed by several governments for information and they have had nothing show up. Also, uh, they're. Yeah, what? Just turkeys. All they had to phone was turkeys. They just oh, gave yeah. them back a slip Dead of turkeys. paper that says, we're ExpressVPN. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just... <laughs> oh, it said, we're ExpressVPN, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's the, it's, the government was Lisa Simpson running after her. And on the back, it says, this page intentionally left blank. Bitch. Yeah. It works all over the world. <laughs> It's got 3,000 plus servers and 160 locations spanning 94 countries. It's fucking crazy. It's a lot of servers. Works on pretty much every device you can think of. It actually works with streaming services like Netflix and Hulu and Discovery Plus, which is Sarah's favorite, and all this other stuff. And we're watching How the Universe Works. Yeah, How the Universe Works. Then we're through through ExpressVPN? Yeah, yep. and just yep. watching, just watching this stuff. And uh, is, it on, is it on YouPorn? <laughs> you could go on YouPorn and Express VPN, mm-hmm. and then no one could track what type of porn you're watching. Yeah, I mean that's pretty. It's pretty good. And uh, you know, uh, it's, it's also great. like the name would suggest. Spoiler alert: Star Trek porn. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't see a combat, you turn it off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Must <laughs> be authentic, damn it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, like the name would suggest, it's also super fast. Uh, you get up to f- at least 500 up and down, depending on where you are. And they're increasing speeds all across the board everywhere else. And if you go to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek and you sign up for 12 months, they're going to give you an extra three months for free, which makes the entire deal 49% off. It's wow. a really fucking good deal for a VPN of that quality. And if you're not sure... You can just try it out. 30-day money-back guarantee. Try it out for 30 days, and you're like, 
you know what? I like my internet raw and dangerous, so <laughs> I will opt for that money back. But yeah, baby, I like it raw, like old, <laughs> old dirty bastard. Yeah, yes, that's why he's ODB. dead. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> That and the drugs. <laughs> he didn't have Express Whoa, VPN. Martin, <laughs> Whoa. Well, that that and the synthahol drugs that he was taking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. You sign up for 12 months. You're going to get an extra three months for free. And then our good old friend, Exter. Look, Exter, we're getting tight. We're getting tight with you as our sponsor. Because <laughs> you're making these nice quality wallets. These little wallets, slim, minimalist design. They're sleek. They're half the size of a conventional bifold wallet, and they hold up to 12 cards plus cash. They're environmentally friendly materials, or if you don't want to be environmentally friendly, you can get a solid gold one or yeah. some other shit. You zero choice. But the big selling point is that their wallets have like this cool quick access button where if you click the button, your cards pop out. You can grab your cards super quickly and fast. And there's an RFID blocking plate mechanism built into the whole thing to make sure nobody can just scan your cards and steal your card information. And if you want, you can also even buy an optional tracker that's solar powered. So you can like lose your wallet and then you can be like, where's my wallet? Look at my phone. Ah, it's right there. I left it at the five guys. When In I was- the sun. Yeah. <laughs> nah, your wallet's not going to be, you're going to be have to be chasing down someone. hundred. Yeah, I have a, <laughs> I have a question about the gold wallet. When you hit the quick release button on that, is it like extra <laughs> heavy and you can like use it as a weapon? <laughs> or does it go ka-ching? As you pull up, <laughs> you know who? Uh, never mind. Uh, uh, sorry, we're still, we're still doing the read. I just got hot with this idea. <laughs> well, okay. Well, let's let's top it off then. So you can head on over to, to shop.exter.com slash newbie, or just use our offer code newbie at exter.com. It's e k s t e r dot com, and that adds an additional twenty five percent off any order site wide. So Exter often has sales going on. But if you use that offer code or you go to that link we showed you, it's up to an extra 25% off. It's like even more off. You can stack it. Yeah, you stack the sales with the offer. It's a pretty good deal. And you get free returns within 45 days of receiving your order. So you can try out your wallet for like 45 days and be like, all right, I want to keep it. Or I don't. You can return it. And you get free shipping on any order of $50 or more. It's pretty good. So again, that's E-K-S-T-E-R.com and you use that offer code newbie or just head on over to shop.exter.com slash newbie and that creates a whole offer code thing where you can get up to an additional 25% off any order site wide. It stacks Stack with up. everything. Stack them up. Stack it up. Stack it up. Like All right, Ricardo, what's your, what's your hot take? You, you know who to make a good John Luke Picard? Oh, Dude, okay. Dan and Lewis. another one. Dan Day Lewis. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. He Wait, be like he's I like. Think uh, maybe I, we might. I, we might I, have brushed captain. against him before. We brushed like, against Daniel Day Lewis before, but he's like this. We never won. H W Riker. <laughs> <laughs> I think beats. he'd be a fucking awesome Picard, dude. Very intense. No, he would be. He would be. There's Whenever no like someone gets in his way, he beats them to death. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he would put he would put an air on his on top of his head to go like to start balding. You know, so like, you know he's not. He's <laughs> like he, wants, he's he doesn't want to shave it. He wants to like naturally bald. He's like naturally bald. Oh. I'm gonna. Oh wow, that much he dedication. Takes off, he takes off the the follicles from the root just so that you know. <laughs> Oh my God. Um, he starts yeah. like rapidly tra- yeah. traveling between England and France to no, make, no, he, make his he, background con- no, confusing. Dude, he starts <laughs> making wine with his brother Robert. <laughs> oh, but okay. every so often he tosses in a Robert. Yeah, he's like, he's like my, this is my brother Robert. I mean Robert. <laughs> uh, but you know whose name we never got confused about? Ricardo, Ooh. could you please tell us what <laughs> happened in this episode? We'll never be confused about Tasha. Boom. Uh, I don't know, he called him. He called her Yara for a while. Yeah, Yara. <laughs> uh, you know who would be a good Tasha? Uh, Megan Fox, dude. No, <laughs> that was for you, no. dude, the listener who was who have, started like three ang- weeks I, ago. He angered a bunch of people. Sorry, I apologize. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Anger, the anger away. It just yeah. makes them argue more and increase our metrics. So, <laughs> um, uh, uh, listen, Weird. guys. I'm gonna Do say it from the beginning, guys. <laughs> you pieces of poop. Um. <laughs> If you're easily offended, it's totally fine. We get it. Not we say this every so often. It does. It doesn't matter. Like you, you don't have to like all all every podcast in the in the world. It's fine if you don't like oh, this yeah. one. Oh, We're yeah. totally okay with it. Oh yeah. In fact, if you don't like it, it's okay for you to leave a bad review. I mean, it's your time you're wasting. So we don't give a fuck. 
uh, yeah. you can do it. That's your prerogative. Uh, it, it only helps our metrics. So if you do want to leave a better review or a comment, that's totally fine. It still helps the metrics. So mm-hmm. um, the worst leave thing you can do, you, the worst thing you can do, tell me how not funny yeah. I am. Just continue to do that. <laughs> yeah. It, the worst thing you can do is not comment because then that does, doesn't do us any good. Yeah. Um, but if you're a long time listener, uh, first time caller, thank you very much. We do appreciate you. <laughs> Uh, Jackie, I do remember your name oh, sometimes. Boom, yeah, see? Yeah. Sometimes I, I think it's a different name. Broomhilda. We got you. Is that a person? Is that a person? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that, that is, is a person. person. Yes. Okay, yes, see? Yes, I'm, yes. I'm getting better, guys. Come on, dude. <laughs> um, and so thank you for, for uh, to the longtime listeners. And if you're a new listener and you're, you're easily offended, it's fine. It's fine. Um, this isn't for you. Uh, but thank you for stopping by mm-hmm. and listening to our stupid rant about Dainty Lewis. <laughs> but... For the initiated, oh, people that were born in it, uh, welcome. The people who are here at 27 yes. minutes in. Yeah. <laughs> um, this episode- We haven't even started yet. Was oh fun. Uh, I'm going to start off with the fact that I, I didn't know till right now that Riker directed it. And that makes mm-hmm. that makes a lot of sense. Every you, time Jonathan no, Frakes directs an episode, it's it feels visually unconventional. And They're, also uh, not heavy with him. Like he, he purposely yes. yeah, is like, yeah. hey, I'm not I'm yeah. not really in this episode. I, I could direct this one. Yeah, um, exactly. Exactly. He so this episode was fun, but at the same time, really like I, I love I love the message. I love the message. Mm-hmm. I love yeah. yeah, the stupid Gestapo lady. Um <laughs> who who stupid talks I Gestapo lady. In the beginning, <laughs> so I was watching the the episode mm-hmm. and then be, right before she was introduced, I kind of looked away. I was doing something else. And then I had headphones on and I heard her talking. And I'm like, is Judy Dench in this fucking episode? <laughs> <laughs> she talks like Judy Dench a little Dame bit. Yeah, she's, Judy she's, Dench. She's, she's got, yeah, shees got a bit of that. She's got like, that same energy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like she kept on feeling familiar to me. And when I looked her up to find out like, what do I know her from? It turned out nothing. Yeah. Apparently Jonathan Frakes was a big fan of hers. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know what she's. I have actually haven't seen anything else she's in. At, at least she's like, been in like two different adaptations of Great Expectations. Yeah, I don't. Oof. Yeah, I don't know. She was. Yeah, I think she played sense. both like the young, beautiful character when she was young, and then Miss Havisham, the old crone, when wait, she was wait, when she was old. Is she oh. in? Is she in Alfonso Cuarón's Great Expectations? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't uh, know. Now, when was now, that one made? I don't know. Uh, like the nineties. Uh, I don't think that was her then. So. It was me in eight ninety eight. It could have been her, been her. Might have been. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think that was her. No, because no. I think um, it was this Anne Bancroft. Back in, it was Anne Bancroft. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, this episode was very interesting. I I, I like the message, but overall, like it was, it felt like one of those episodes where you're like, they're like, we can't afford this episode, guys. Like we yeah. spent so much money, and they're like, got it. Courtroom drama. Done and done. <laughs> yeah. Courtroom drama I on think an that office actually was chair. They yeah. just part had of the reason why chair. it was made. Yeah. Right? It's another it's, I think it's a bottle yeah. episode, right? Yeah, I, I believe think, it was. Yeah. They don't they don't leave the, the set. And, I'm gonna uh, start calling bottle episodes dick in a box episodes. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the episode starts off and they're they got a uh cling on. Hot. Yeah. Yeah, it starts <laughs> off hot. They got a cling on and this dude's a spy and he like they're like this fucker's a spy, but he also was part of uh, the Federation because he's got a little placard. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, we, f- we find out you're a spy. And like they don't know the details, but they know that he's a spy and he was feeding like people information. And he was feeding the Romulans, right? Like some kind yeah. of. Mm-hmm. And they're supposed to not like each other. Well, right? they, don't, they don't know exactly what yet because Deanna says he's hiding something. Yeah. But what he was really like hiding was his does. diabetes. That he had diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he does. Yeah, that's, not, does that's not really does, helpful does, feedback. He's does, hiding something. Like I, he I, have, just, I don't know. I've, I've been saying have, that about Diana since like season two. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't he have Warfian diabetes though? Yeah. Because he needs to like <laughs> essentially. Yeah. yeah he, he, has has some some he takes an injection. You're right. Syringe. Yeah. yeah he, he has does. some sort of illness. Yeah. Like he brings it with him and then gives it to medical staff to administer to him. I don't understand how that works. Yeah. Like he has to go every time. It's like. Uh, Cling on. Like if it's Sorry. his, it's probably it should be him. To the one person yelling at his fucking device. <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean Warfian diabetes. I meant uh Klingon. 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 Say are you safe? You came in and <laughs> saved me, dude. Fact checking will ruin this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Klingon. He has Klingon diabetes or something yeah. and he has to get injected. Yeah. They in that's the clinic one thing, every time. One thing but they haven't figured out. They they cured everything else in the future except <laughs> yeah, diabetes. <wait. laughs> 
<laughs> that, and then, and they've also oh, gone diabetes. backwards. They instead of diabetes medication, you can take yourself. You now always need a doctor to in, inject well, it. Into yeah. every maybe, time. These, <laughs> maybe these are really high levels of insulin, dude. You know, like that so so heavy Cling that, on that, levels of insulin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> think about how how much insulin this guy fucking takes, dude. He's a fucking big old guy. He's got but two anyway, of everything. So. He, he's like he's like he does the whole mob thing. Like, hey, how about you know? How about you lose me and see what happens? You know? But yeah, he's doing this a wharf. He's yeah, like, like kind of like <laughs> yeah. He's like. He's like, you misplaced me, and then uh, nobody knows. You know, I fell off a truck, and you know, yeah. what, what if I just <laughs> yeah. fall into a shuttlecraft, and the yeah. shuttlecraft kind of yeah. rolls out of the Enterprise? Doesn't yeah. he try <laughs> to say that good like word with you with the boss? <laughs> yeah. He tries to say that like he wants Worf to like do something good for his name or whatever, since uh-huh. Worf, yeah. to the Everyone- public is like shamed. It, yes. Which which point. sucks that like every everyone knows about Worf now. Like they're like yeah. they're like oh that piece of shit from the Enterprise dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. He his dad's a fucking loser. Yeah, Worf He's has a to loser. constantly deal with this. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why they they bowed down to Chumley, dude. That fucking <laughs> Worf yeah. Chumley. <laughs> like they should have yeah. just been like fuck you, dude. Like y- y- you're yeah. the piece of shit. What I wondered was after Worf killed the guy. Yeah. Right. Why why is there still a confusion? About the truth, can he not still tell the truth at that point? No, no. Not maybe yet. it's he, maybe it's a, one of those honor things. It's like I don't have the appropriate venue or opportunity to reveal the truth correctly. Yeah, he did so it. Feel, he did it in I the only did that to avenge my girl's honor. <laughs> yeah, that's not about this. <laughs> he did it. He did it in in the uh, in the. <laughs> In the Netflix offices, and they have a really <laughs> strong uh, <laughs> NDA, dude. Oh yeah, it was the Klingon NDAs yeah. that prevented. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I can't talk or they'll sue me, dude. <laughs> sue you for what, dude? Everything's free. He's like, ah, they'll take my fucking wine, dude. Um, all right, dude. They'll it's take fine. away Picard's brother's vineyard. Yeah. Now, you know what I wondered? <laughs> I wondered why the Betazoid lawyer guy couldn't detect also, his intense feelings of that's a fucking lie and everyone uh, like and only i know the truth yeah yeah it's it's like it's weird i mean that's jumping slightly ahead but that betazoid lawyer is as bad as deanna yeah that's that's <laughs> the weirdest thing to me like when i noticed i was like oh man yeah. like even yeah. though he's a full betazoid we've seen what full betazoids are capable of yeah we've this, seen Luxana and, and billy yeah. blue eyes yeah. yeah this this episode really proved uh, is gonna sound horrible to some people. This proves how useless Deanna Troy is uh, <laughs> because he's like, he's like, oh, I would never trust anything she says. <laughs> he's like, and he's like, she's like, yeah, you, no. you have you have your own beta beta zone in the ship. Is she, do you not trust what she says? He's like, oh no, no. <laughs> well, no. he goes. Sometimes I do, but I guess I should rethink that. I should really yeah. stop listening to her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which is sad. <laughs> Um, because half of the time she doesn't, she's her, like her, her, um, Peter tingles, uh, don't work sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then when they do work, like th- you can't it's trust too these, general. Yeah, you can't just yeah. say he's hiding yeah. something or something. Yes. Feels we off. all knew he's hiding yeah. something. It's like, he's yeah, nervous. I can he's tell. Nervous. <laughs> yeah, he's nervous. He's hiding yeah. something. Guess what? I'm always nervous because I think I'm going to shit my pants, dude. I'm always <laughs> nervous. If there was a betazoid around me all the time. They'd be like, this guy's constantly angry yeah. or in fear. <laughs> and they wouldn't know that that, that I'm angry because I think I'm going to shit my pants because I ate yeah. cheese the day before. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so they they invite this lady who, <sighs> dude, I keep saying this. In, this this I keep saying this in real life. No one's listening to me. Dude. I yell it out. <laughs> uh, if you're over 65, <laughs> you shouldn't hold public office. <laughs> you shouldn't. Yeah. Like, no, it, yeah. this is even worse. God they brought her out of retirement. It, dude. Yes, yes dude. she this. was retired. <laughs> yeah, and then they brought her fucking back. <laughs> they brought her to to do yeah. this, and she's fucking senile, dude. And, <laughs> God damn it, dude. Here's the thing. I love older people, dude. I love the elderly. Sure, they're yeah. great. Yeah. But you know what? These these pieces of the shit want to raise the fucking retirement age. Yeah, let's endanger fucking the world, dude. Uh, <laughs> God yeah. damn it, dude. I've been saying it for fucking years. Everybody should retire at 65 and stop doing what they're doing. Look, yeah. if you if you want to be a Walmart greeter, go ahead, dude. Like it, jobs where you depends on the job too. You, you know? don't 
lives shouldn't like be balanced in your hands. Yeah, dude. like like important jobs, yeah. just let them go. But if you're like like an actor, or you're yeah. like you know you're like you said like a Walmart greeter, even like if you're like a you just like yeah, like generally- you can't be on the Supreme Court no, deciding like I mean. life no, and no, death. No, no. And yeah. like, Here's the thing. What about the experience and wisdom? <laughs> no, no, no. That's yeah, incredibly that outdated yeah. at this point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? It starts to go out the window. Yeah. Oh, Have no. you know a nipple can buy a piece of steak and kidney pie in a newsreel? <laughs> Here's the thing. If you... If, if, if you can't pull an all-nighter and be okay the next day, you need it. Yeah. You need to go. <laughs> that should be the thing. Like that's how they should judge. They're like I'm barely stay up, making it. Stay up all night. <laughs> stay up all night and try to go to work the next day. And if you can't, you you can't hang here. You gotta you go can't, retire. You can't be the president of the United States if you yeah. can't pull an all nighter. Yeah. No, not next even day. an all nighter, dude. <laughs> Here's sorry. the thing. We're, we're gonna feed you a heavy heavy dinner. Heavy yeah. dinner. <laughs> and you, we're gonna put an episode of like we're, go, we're gonna feed girls. you a heavy dinner at seven p.m. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes. If you can't stay up and watch a, a two hour movie without yeah. without nodding off. <laughs> You can't, you can't. <laughs> you can't do it. You, you can't, can't be. You only get one line of coke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, only one. <laughs> yeah. Only one. And you're gonna. We're gonna give you turkey. We're gonna give yeah. you yeah. all. We're gonna <laughs> give no, no, you no. bread. Look, no, no, no. Just, just a regular dinner. Of- like, <laughs> just regular like, steak like, dinner. Yeah. Regular steak dinner. Whatever you eat, it's just a regular dinner and a two-hour movie. And if you can't oh, make wait, it, but it won't be like soft. You have to eat like a uh, like a tough dinner. Like the steak, with, the steak. With gristle. Ooh, yeah. ooh, let's let's make it fun. It'll there will be three lines of coke. You get only get to choose one, but one of them is powdered tryptophan. Yeah. Here's the thing: is that if the if the FAA goes, you're not uh, seaworthy. Basically, you're not airworthy. We yeah, don't trust yeah. you with all these lives on a plane. Then yeah. there, it should be the same case for everything, dude. Where where yeah. like lives are at stake. Yeah. You shouldn't be a doctor over sixty five. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be a surgeon over sixty five. Yeah. You shouldn't be a president. Oh my over god, 65. I would be terrified if there was like an old surgeon. Yeah, and he's performing on me. Yeah, and he's. Like if you're like a seven year old surgeon, that's scary actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. What I would want is like just let me watch him do a surgery and then I'll <laughs> make a decision. No, 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 no. Fuck that dude. No, get him out of here, dude. Here's the thing is again. What about driving? Should you have to retake a driver's test at a certain age? They you actually do. do. You do. When you're older, really? They, I you thought- have to take after no, what have, age? No, I think I think after you're like 55 or something, you actually actually no, have to take it. It's older, it's older, it's older, it's older. But there is an so. age. There is an age where it's like 70 reach, or something. You have to like take a driver's test like every <laughs> year. I think there should be a limit on that too, because I don't know. <laughs> there Some is. drivers out there that are, I mean, and I'm sorry. I mean, and this goes for me. I will feel the same way when I'm like if I make it to like 85 right or now, 90. I, no, you know? right at, at the age I am right now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'd be mean, like, oh, I'm kind of past my prime for fucking public office. And I'm not even yeah. that old, but I'd be like, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what the kids are doing, you know? Like, like, yeah. it's kind yeah. of like, uh, was, yeah. look, I don't mean to shit on old people, dude. Uh, if, if you're an older person listening to this, no, I apologize. it's not shitting on them. It's just, there's, there's things that are meant just, for you yeah. and there are Here's things the thing. that are not meant for like, you. It's take it's take, take something things. simple as like the union I'm in. I'm in a union, right? A work union. Mm-hmm. And the old people are only voting for the top, for the people who have been there. So like the things that they're voting for don't affect me at all. Like they're, they're not, they're not impactful to me because I don't have those same privileges that they have. So like mm-hmm. the things that they fight for and they like, th- it's for things that, that no one below them are going to get. So it's right. basically like we were inside the door and you haven't made it in or you kind of made it in, but you, you're young. So like, we're just going to close the door on you. Like, yeah. and that's not fair. Like you, you need a good, happy medium uh mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that's the way politics are right now like th- we're stuck on old ass shit dude like well also like you need someone who's in touch with what people yeah are going through men during their middle age or younger years like older people don't I got, understand it you know i got a new test dude it's, yeah. it's a two two-step process sarah you ready <laughs> one is a dinner one is a dinner in st louis <laughs> the next one is we give you a brand new iphone let me see. Program it. Program it. Set like, it up. Like just set it up. Call your oh, call boy. your grandson. 
And if you can't oh call your grandson God. within like an hour, you're fucking an, an hour. hour. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Wait, wait, I think, you know, in this two step process, the phone I, think, I, think, you die. I think what what movie are we watching? Because that definitely matters what the movie is. Is it Titanic? Is it. It's something that they don't it, like. That everything they don't like. everywhere all at once. Something that's yeah. super boring. Make, make them, or, we're going to put on. Yeah. Everywhere. We're, so put, everywhere we're, we're, we're putting on Transformers else. and see yeah. if they can make it through two hours of Transformers. <laughs> Yeah, we're putting uh, on we're putting on uh into the spider verse and we'll see well, what, put how, on, what, what they, did i put on i put on they, glass <laughs> onion and my parents did not make it through 20 minutes I, guys guys here's the truth and just to, to, to make it fair sometimes i can't make it to, to our movie I don't <laughs> i'll have dinner and i just like I sit down and i'm watching something with my kid and i'm like and i wake up and i'm like oh fuck i missed the good part well to be fair then <laughs> well, you, you, you self-admit it you, you self-admit it you're not you, oh, you, you don't think you're in prime yeah. shape for public office so. no, yeah dude. you would yeah. fail yeah. the test i'm past yeah. my prime um <laughs> i mean honestly they have to sit through those long boring hearings you have to be briefed yeah. on i mean that's a thing. lot of stuff they don't you know? they they hire people to sit in those well, they need for to. them and then have them summarize it for them. And then like, cause they don't actually do it anymore. Like they haven't been doing it for years. God damn it, dude. <laughs> we need to replace Congress with AI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With a, with a chat, with a Pornhub chat uh, robot. They're all just chat GPTs just yeah. interacting with each yeah. other. <laughs> um, all right. So let's get back to this, dude. We, we did like an hour on old people. Uh, we lost like a, an eighth of an already uh, of our, our audience. We're sorry, Ricardo, yeah. for going off on old people like that. I, I mean, I started it. <laughs> Uh, and I keep saying it, but no off, one's listening. Just going off. Uh, all right. So this old lady comes on. They come back from. She comes back from retirement, and she's going to investigate this thing. Uh, just what we need, dude. Someone who's not adept to the new technology of someone how things really are done. Really out of touch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Someone. Someone who who presided over the Salem witch trials uh, <laughs> was brought on, and literally, she's on a witch hunt, and mm. she's like blaming everybody, and she's literally the fucking Gestapo, dude. <laughs> And they they bring in this fucking this timid dude who fucked up, uh, mm-hmm. Tim Lee or whatever his name is, dude. <laughs> and this guy seems really familiar, dude. This guy. Oh, Saban? I kept thinking that the too. The Betazoid? No, 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 not the Betazoid. The, 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 uh, the Simon Tarsus guy. Yeah, the quarter Romulan kid. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well, we think at the oh, moment the, we oh, think he's the, uh, the the medical aid guy. Yeah, yes. at the yeah, moment yeah, yeah. we think he's quarter Got Vulcan. The RM. That's what he said on his yeah. application to that join Starfleet. Liar. Yeah, <laughs> and the thing is that he does. Lock he looks nothing. Up. He looks nothing like Eric Bana. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so this lady, first of all, they interrogate. They're like, first of all, they're they're like, I'm trying to be very diplomatic here. <laughs> there's there's a certain type of older white person that they're still racist, mm-hmm. but they they hide their and this oh, yeah. applies to Worf. They hide the racism by not saying like the N word or you know like, but they they'll use they won't call somebody black. They won't go hey the 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 African American fellow or the black the black fellow. No, they'll say something like very specific, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. like oh the the liberal guy, you know. Yeah, which is which is code for I, I've I'm heard I've person. heard people in the South refer to black communities as like oh this is the artsy community yeah and it's like yeah. oh it's because they're all black yeah if, <laughs> like, if you don't use <laughs> someone who you're referring to if you if you have the nestled in a fucking weird label mm-hmm. then you're a little racist um, <laughs> and yeah. this lady is so doing that with fucking Worf. She's like, oh, I thought this guy, this gentleman was going to fucking not be uh, loyal to us. But it turns out he is. He's a very loyal. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, red flag right loyal there. Loyal Klingon. Yeah. Mm. Red flag. Yeah. Mm. And so, um, and then she's very like, she's very old timey, like, like secret, mm. uh, so secret holder. So was her, her father was also a, was a judge. Was so a famous judge. judge. So she's a yeah. nephew. So that's baby. also another issue where we got, she's old. And then we also got, she comes from this like line of you know people who have been i guess in politics or yes courts and yeah and they're a family of power you know, yeah. which yeah. is also problematic they're like the kennedys you know yeah she's, exactly. a, she's a she's a nepotism baby yeah, yeah. a nepo baby 
She needs a t-shirt. Nepo and baby. so, so she's like, yeah. And, and Picard's like, yeah, I, I've studied your dad. And she's like, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, my dad made us argue with the Oh, yeah. Table. The weird, the weird <laughs> debate thing. Like, who, what the fuck? Like, yeah. well, she was Picard like, that. was into the idea. It was yeah. like, oh, I, I bet you trounced your brothers every night. Well, Picard is like taken with, because, you know, Picard, I think like his initial vision of her is that she's just like someone who's very good at negotiation. Well, so, Picard seems a little starstruck. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When Picard tends to get starstruck over yeah. like people who are like storied in their career, like he did it yeah. for Sarek. Uh, yeah. He'll do it for like archaeologists Sarek. and stuff. So um, you know. Picard is a starfucker, dude. He <laughs> yeah. fuck the he's, a, dude. he's a total starfucker. No, honestly, <laughs> it's he why is. he wanted to go into Starfleet because he just yeah. wanted to starfuck. Yeah. And so this Betazoid, he's like, "Oh, I like Worf because he's he he's, he takes my side." Blah blah. And <laughs> yeah, so they they, yeah. they interrogate yeah. the uh, the Klingon. And they're like, you have, you don't have diabetes, don't you? You're using the goddamn, the <laughs> goddamn like, the thing. To, this poor to, guy with his diabetes medication. Yeah. My God. And they're like, like, you didn't, you didn't fucking need it, did you? You, you were passing along information and blah, blah, blah. Oh you God. needed, you needed a medical person to, to fucking help you. And they, then they interrogate the medical guy and his big secret and what he was hiding was the fact that he had lied on his application and said he was a quarter native american or something and turned out he was just white <laughs> oh okay there's one thing we kind of missed uh yeah. that that is explaining why she was brought on board in the first place it's because while they're doing the romulan spy investigation yeah uh, their warp core explodes or a thing in the engine oh, yes. explodes yeah and because yeah. of that they're now thinking oh this klingon spy has also sabotaged our Yes. Ship. Like yeah. it almost killed yeah, us. He has all. a cohort within the crew. It's like yeah. they're trying to connect the two unrelated. Yeah. Well, I mean, at the time, it's such, so time, coincidental. It's, it's coincidental. It, but... That it, it seems like it must yeah. be connected. Right. And so, then, but you know, I think assumptions, what is it? You know, assumptions. If you assume you make an ass out of you and me or whatever. Yeah. When yeah. you, yeah. When you point one finger at me, you, you're pointing three back at you and one at God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> So. I just think there there was a lot of assumptions flying around in this episode. And, and to be fair, because dangerous. Picard doesn't want to assume, he he tells Worf, not Worf, uh, Jordy and Data. He tells Jordy and Data to do a thorough investigation of the warp core, and they're like, "Okay, we'll Which do it." Which they should do yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, mm -hmm. and it turns out it was an accident. Yeah, um, it right. turns out like fucking whoever did maintenance on them, like it was a, it was the, a coincidence. Whoever their last mechanic was, <laughs> yeah, who's probably put in, a, put in really the old, no, really old, really old mechanic. <laughs> the defect was undetectable. Didn't you hear? <laughs> it's undetectable. Uh, it's completely okay, undetectable. How can you defend against that? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna breeze over Literally, some things. How can you? <laughs> I'm gonna breeze over some things because I want to concentrate on on certain things. Okay. 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 So so. Here's the thing. She comes in and she have, she's like in a witch hunt and she's interrogating everybody and accusing everybody. So she's basically assuming everyone's guilty until proven innocent, mm -hmm. which is the opposite of what it, uh, how it is. Mm -hmm. um, and then so the thing I want to concentrate on is that there's one thing she did right. There's one thing she did right. And then because she's so dumb, they totally breeze by it and they don't address it anymore. And he gets off scot-free, which mm. is that he's violated the goddamn prime directive repeatedly. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he should stand trial for that. <laughs> and, and he let a child take control of the goddamn <laughs> ship, dude. And, and he, he let that terrorist just run about. He gave him promotion. His he's most a Nepo baby. Yeah. yeah. And she was right by bringing that up. She should, she could, she, that he, she, was really interesting when she brought that up. No, like the thing, the thing that really like pulled the rug out from under me is when she brought up the Borg and made that real yeah. again in my mind. I was like, Wait oh, a minute, yeah. yeah, the Borg. That's a very legitimate thing. Yeah. Like, everyone no, should have a problem that Picard's commanding a ship right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, he, do we know the Borg is completely out of his system? Like, no. yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm healed. I'm good. I'm, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, his defense is so weak in that moment. And it's like, oh, my God. Like, Picard, y your ass is grass here. She's got <laughs> you on the ropes. He's I mean, like, like the, the one security mm -hmm. flaw they had by having Picard be assimilated cost 11,000 lives. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. it's not a minor he, like incident. <laughs> and 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 so he should have been held accountable and gone to trial for those. He should have been court-martialed 
and he mm-hmm. wasn't. And because she mm-hmm. went nuts and she was going senile, and she literally, they had somebody come in from from Starfleet, and and he was like, like it nah, was none of this shit. It fuck, was literally a Howard Dean moment. Yeah, she's like, yeah, <laughs> it was a Howard. Yeah, what did he say again? He, he goes, went, ah. Ah. Right. no, I thought he said that, something. That's, that's all he said. Go back to Washington yeah. D.C. to take back the White House. Ah. Ah. Yeah. And then the you guy always do a PR, but like, it's not that's it's, it's not a PR. I think it's, I think it's look, a PR. Look it up. Look it up. Right, I watched right. it way too many times right, because right. it was so what is, what is a laughing stock you... of my family for look weeks. Up, look really? up Dean Kane. Dean Kane. Yeah, no, no, Howard Dean. Dean. Kane. Dean, Howard, yeah. Dean Kane was Superman. Howard Dean. Oh, Dean Kane's a piece of shit now, dude. Oh um, don't look. Wait, at Dean why Kane. was your family obsessed with it, Dan? Because it was funny. Like back in the day, that <laughs> okay. was that was like the that I'm was sorry, the pinnacle what? of political comedy. Real, yeah. I okay. I I guess my family missed that. I don't know. I mean, we rem- I remember when it happened, but like. It was like whatever. It wasn't like well. Uh, when I say know, my family, it's just me and my brothers. But oh, okay, got it. Uh, <laughs> I, was, like, I thought your mom and dad were walking around going, ah. This, this, is, this is during well, a time. Sometimes we would get our parents involved. <laughs> oh my god! I can't. Again, we've we've said it before, but it's amazing that one yell could take down a career. Yeah, back in the day. Like, can you imagine now? that um, moment occurring so on on like now. you know the floor of Capitol Hill? And then yeah. that mattering in any sort of way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nowadays. Imagine like, being Admiral Seti and having that so-called breakdown in Congress yeah, and having yeah. that matter in any sort of way. Yeah. yeah. People won't. will actually support her, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, they so, would. So this idiot, she loses it and she, and they're like, oh, let's, let's end this thing, this witch hunt. And they, they shut it down. But I'm like, no, she brought up something very goddamn important, which is <laughs> yeah, that, she did. that Picard is compromised and he shouldn't be the captain of the ship right now. He shouldn't be for a while. In fact, for at least, they should have done it for at least a season or two that it should have been Riker as a captain. See, that's the, that's that the problem cool. I always yeah. had with the end of Best of Both Worlds. As soon as the Borg explode, they bring, like Picard's scars haven't even, is he still has some robot shit on his face still. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and they put true. him right back to being a captain. And it's like, we can we can we chill for a second? We've learned that the Borg are self regenerative. They yep. could just show up again somewhere else at any yeah. moment, and Picard could, could potentially get reactivated. And Riker did a fine job being a captain on his own, and also he kind of wanted to be a captain. So can we just let him do it for a bit on his own? Or no, some, shut up! <laughs> like yeah, it was, up, it was so weird that he immediately went back and then immediately takes a vacation. For me, a captain. <laughs> God damn it. Well, he, he deserves it after everything he'd well, been through. That should have been like, that should have been like, okay, you're not captain anymore. So yeah, take yeah, a vacation. Yeah. Not, you're immediately back to being a captain. So take a, like, it doesn't make any sense, but I don't know. I guess they really needed to go back to status quo ASAP. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like, well, Patrick Stewart signed on, a, signed another contract. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, here's the thing is that like, I, I get it that like it, you you got to fulfill p- agents' contracts, but <laughs> but the, the truth is that like n- for the narrative of this story, it should have been Riker who took over for at least like. And a it would have been cool if maybe yeah. he's not like a captain anymore. He could stay yeah. on the ship. Maybe he could yeah. be a ca- an advisor and a counselor. Uh, a, a co- or something. Yeah, he could have. He could be number two. Number one, has, like robots try to take over his soul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he has <laughs> he has he has cold sweat, sweat dreams with those sexy pajamas and stuff. Yeah. Um, and so I mean, like her breakdown, it's not like I'm rewatching it, and I'm like, it's not the music carries a horrible. lot of that. Yes, like, the it's music. Not, it doesn't justify. I think like the I music mean, and the editing yeah. like really sell that it's a breakdown. Yeah. And also, it's not to, like the very last line where she really he like brought loses up, it. He brought up her dad who obviously was like a very sore spot for her. Yeah, like, She's yeah. still clearly grieving yeah. in some way. Maybe maybe her like, daddy didn't know. love her enough, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That well, seems it seems like kind it, of a, a kind does, of a below the belt shot. Like, why did he bring up her dad like that? Well, it does seem to be a subtext. And he didn't have any better defense. I have a, I have a question. I have a question. Can you? Uh, but it doesn't stand. I mean, maybe I'm thinking too much. Someone's gonna shit on me for this. But <laughs> I remember in in the J.J. Abrams movie where mm-hmm. where he like he 
emotionally compromised um oh yeah Pic- uh spock, to, spock. To, ma- to make yeah. him like yeah and then he's like he's like oh you're not the captain anymore you have to step down because you're emotionally compromised and then and then uh-huh. and then what's his name <laughs> oh, you over. cried you have yeah. to stop you captain sucker <laughs> <laughs> you have feelings oh you piece of shit <laughs> captains don't cry yeah you gotta step down <laughs> yeah fucking baby um, and, and, and are so you a baby is this the case is this the case with where like she was like she no. was almost crying she's like don't you talk about my daddy piece of she shit was crying. I, I, mean, th- I think what happened is it's the, th- it's the thing that's the funniest thing in the episode for me because so basically it's going out of control right like they expose the Romulan ha- quarter Romulan guy he's just a nice guy who happens to be quarter Romulan nice guy Eddie dude and they just fucked up his career for no reason. Yeah. And, uh, you know, now they're going out of control. Worf is all caught up in it. So yeah. Now Worf is going around. He's Worf is being like a foot soldier for her. Worf right. is, is it, Worf is, was ready to become a Nazi dude. Oh yeah. yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this was, if Worf, Worf was, was in so 1930s ready. Germany, he would yeah. have like rise the ranks of the Gestapo. Yeah. Like <laughs> he would have joined it. He in, was going really uh, hard, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Um, but then like, you know, after Picard's like, I'm going to shut this down. And then Admiral Satie goes, no, you're not. In yeah. fact, Admiral Thomas Henry of Starfleet security is actually going to join us. And it's that like that black guy who shows yeah. up who yeah, has zero from the office. Yeah. <laughs> who yeah. Has zero- is it, is it <laughs> no, 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 not really. Yeah. <laughs> but, it really but he, does look like him. Though. Like for real. He like has that energy is like, I yeah. don't know what the fuck yeah. I'm doing he here. I don't give a shit. dialogue in the whole episode. He doesn't say anything. <laughs> he just he sits, he just sits down at the conference or at the, the trial. He looks very yeah. unpleased. He's like really pushing his double chin like, out. Why am I here? As he's yeah, sitting. Yeah. And then Picard does his speech and Admiral Sati freaks out and he just stands up and walks out of the room. And I guess that's supposed to signify that this is all fucked somehow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just looks at her and he's like horrified. And then he, he just doesn't say walks a single out. word. He no, just, yeah, like, it's, it's great <laughs> because like, a little bit. <laughs> It's great because like her smug, like, well, I'm bringing in the security admiral on board and he has to listen to everything. Yeah. And the first thing he listens to is like her, her mm-hmm. downfall. I it's- will say, I will say that I really do. I will give Riker credit. I love the shot, the composition of the actual shot of where they're like zooming out after her breakdown and you just see like oh, yeah. all the people passing her and she's just kind of sitting in her kind of like shock sadness of like, what did I just do? What did I just say? And then everybody's kind of like, you just see like the torsos of everybody walking across the frame and leaving. I love that well, composition. By, by Jonathan Frakes' own admission, most of these shots in the courtroom he stole from other movies that he admired, yeah. including Judgment at Nuremberg and uh, the Kane Mutiny. Uh, so yeah, uh, I can see that. It's a also, very it's took like a lot of shots from the Marx Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cinematic. Read... This shot, like very yes, cinematic. Is. Yes, yes. I think I also read that Michael Dorn. This is one of Michael Dorn's favorite episodes. Yes, he loves this episode. Because... Even though he almost became a Nazi. Well, you know what? I think it gives Worf a lot of like. It, it's uh, interesting for his character. I think this. Yeah, absolutely. This, uh, yes. Like, if I were an actor, this would for like Worf, Michael Dorn, or yeah. whatever. Like. This would be a really fun episode. For James me. Garner. Yeah. <laughs> like Worf actually has an arc in this episode. Yeah. yeah like, oh yeah. God, he's not yeah. just the plain guy that's like, oh, and security, blah, blah, blah. And he's and actually then. hyper-competent right at the beginning. Yeah, like yeah. the thing yes. where he just, where he discovers yeah. the, the, mm-hmm. the Klingon spy was, I mean, who would think of this is stealing data by putting it into DNA in his blood. Yeah. Like he figured that out somehow. He, he, actually, he was, that was, was, that was amazing. Diabetes. That's a pretty cool <laughs> idea though. So <laughs> yeah. like, this is one of the few episodes episodes that I was like, oh, we actually get to see what Worf does as a job. Like, yeah. In yeah. addition that's true, that's to like, true. like this was the first time I was like, oh, this is some of the other, like, I can see what else he does during the day. He's not just on the bridge. He didn't just know, get knocked the fuck out, dude. Yeah. 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 He's not yeah. just yeah. jobbing yeah. to strong yeah. villains. Like, yeah. he actually is sitting there investigating, trying to figure things out. Yeah. You know. Like, he even gets a good, like, Bruce Lee, p- like, back punch into that first, like, oh, God, yeah. science oh, Oh, guy. That that punch, it was, it's like yeah. the Batman like counter move in the yeah, Batman yeah, yeah. Arkham games yeah. where he goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also in yeah, Batman yeah. eighty nine, he does that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. I dug this episode because it was so close to being like what I wanted them to do, which is like charge him with like war crimes and a bunch <laughs> of other things. But they didn't because she fucked up and she fucked up my shit. 
and I don't like her. And <laughs> so I'm only giving this episode a, a seven and a half. Oh, All right. interesting. Yeah. I actually, uh, I think I said last episode, I remember this episode really fondly and I mm-hmm. still do. I think I'm actually going to give it like a nine. Uh, oh my I God, really, dude. I really wow. like the overall. You loved it, dude. I, I think it's well directed. Uh, I think all the performances are really good. I think I agreed. I think Sarah had said when we were watching this, when Admiral Sati like freaks out, it seems to kind of come out of nowhere a little yeah. bit mm-hmm. in terms of like, where is this? What is this motivated by? And I do agree, which is why I don't think it's like a perfect episode. But I love also the last interaction where like, you know, Picard is like just in the conference room. He's like, well, it's over. And Worf comes in and he goes, dude, I almost... Became mm-hmm. like a full SS officer. In that. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I almost like, uh, like, you know, like you sure did, buddy. And you he's sure like, yeah, did. you almost did, but you did. He's like, so. I didn't <laughs> see that she was what she was. And he said, Mr. War, villains who twirl their mustaches are easy to spot. <laughs> Those who clothe themselves in good deeds are well camouflaged. Yeah. And then Worf is like, well, now we know she's an asshole, so that won't happen again. And Picard goes, I don't know. There's more than one Admiral Sati out there. And I like that kind of message where he, they're like, did nobody really won today? This will happen again for sure. And yeah. we just have Wait to for the next Jordan. Senator McCarthy. <laughs> yeah. This is essentially an episode about McCarthyism. Yeah. Of. I would say it's more McCarthyism than. Yeah. Or. It's like, it's like a, a perfect analog for Down to just, like l- looking in the backgrounds to find like shady connections to things just to bring them into trial and, you know, grill them. Yeah. It's yeah. just bringing up random personal yeah. details that have nothing to do with anything, you know, and. They're like trying to like look into fucking like Beverly's background. Yeah, because for me at first, I actually had some trouble like deciding whether or not the show was saying that the reason why uh, Tarvis's career was ruined was because it was Romulan. Or because he lied. I it, actually it, don't know, Dan. That is I a think really it's good question. It's probably a little bit of both because there is a prejudice against Romulans that they right. won't like outwardly admit, but it is there because they technically are at war with Romulans. I guess. Um, I, I, yeah. I guess that's something that can easily come. Well, not at and, war, but they're in hostile. They're not an active war. They're in like a cold war with the Romulans. It's not, yeah, yeah. That's so, that's more accurate to say. Yeah. So, but I think also it's because he lied on his application, and that's not going to do well. Um, right, and then Picard stood up for him, and he looked pink. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, Picard. I think you can eh? you can understand eh? why he would. No, I mean, is okay. that guy's is that is <laughs> is that guy's career ruined now? Like, yeah, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, actually, I mean, functionally, it he's, is. He's gonna go work for Robert now, <laughs> <laughs> because like it's it just interesting, right? Because if like. But does not Picard and Beverly get to make that decision? I don't get why. Like, no, because because she she supersedes them. Like, also he lied in his. Imagine if you like were joining the army and you had you had lied about something. They're gonna they're like gonna the FBI. Imagine or, if you ran for Congress and lied about your entire life history. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. and then yeah, you actually imagine. got there, and everyone <laughs> found out, and <laughs> then yeah. you could just stay there. Just How ridiculous! Yeah. You, you got oh, wow. there because of the, the merits of this fake history. <laughs> Oh, ridiculous. But I, amazing, to, be fair, amazing. to be fair, I don't think Simon Tarsus got there because <laughs> sure. he said he was a quarter Vulcan. Right. You know right. What I mean? He was yeah, just I, trying I, to cover up like something that yeah. he thought yeah. would be prejudiced. I don't think against. anyone was like, oh, he's a quarter Vulcan. We're definitely I don't know. hiring him. I mean, him. So, you I know. think if you kill, if you steal, if kill dogs and, and you know, <laughs> are drag queens and you lie about where you go and, you know, nothing wrong with being a drag queen. That's awesome. But, you know. Just be honest, bro. You know. Yeah, drag queens, drag <laughs> queen uh, in every corner. Like what <laughs> and you're, they promised us. Yeah, and they didn't, come on, didn't fulfill come on. So yeah, I mean, apparently you can get far. See, I think that guy's gonna be fine. No, He'll be no all right. I, I don't think so. But he's <laughs> no. not. He, but he's a little guy, so he's yeah. fucked. He, oh, and okay. he's he's really timid. So yeah. I mean, he's, I don't know. I I give this probably a probably a seven. Um, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I feel it it was interesting. It was really well shot and composed. I always love when like you guys mentioned Jonathan Frakes does yeah, his he thing. always he always um, makes not a, necessarily a great episode, but interesting. I, yeah, I think, for I think sure. he brings a different energy to it. I mean, his nickname in, on set is one take Frakes. It's because he very rarely takes more than one take. Good. Like, I love he, that. I love that. As long as, as there's as no like- As a filmmaker, as a filmmaker <laughs> myself, I I love people who I love directors that, you know, are not going to sit there and do 10 million takes and they get what they need and they move on, you know? Right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to do it again for safety. Fuck you. Um, 
So I give this, yeah, a seven, I think I said, but like, I can agree. I can agree with Picard though, about being careful about people's I should motivations hope so. behind Yeah, we things. all agree. Yeah, we all and, agree with Picard. Um, we, should, we should all agree with Picard. I don't agree. <laughs> we, should, <laughs> we should not be careful. We should be minority reporting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but like, what do you think is like, maybe I'm just not understanding, but like, what is her motivation behind going her so hard out. on this, on this guy? She's a, no, she's and on Picard, she just wants to be right? Or like, just, Well, what? I think it's two things. It, she's very prideful. And also she's essentially a, a this universe's version of a nationalist, like someone yes, who yes. is like very, very obsessed with making sure that her side's superiority is maintained at all costs. And she like, seems to tie that into the memory of her father. Yes. I think the subtext is Donald that Trump. I think, well, I do think, I do think there is a subtext that like the way her father raised her was not in a kind way and like fucked her up a bit. Sure. Um, so I think she probably has some daddy issues probably oh, and is probably clearly. trying to live she up to him. She clearly has daddy issues for sure. And yes, and, and living up to his shadow, whatever it may be, his legacy. I don't yeah. know what it is. She well, has yeah, like she has that little that. Uh, she has a little speech when she's talking to Picard in his ready room where he says like I you know I was taught by my father that the the Federation is the greatest institution ever conceived by mankind and blah 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 and, and it, it must, must be protected, protected at all at yeah. all costs you know yeah it's making it very clear what her like mission statement but then is. like I wonder why who was her father in order for Picard to look up to him well like, Judge Sati the great judge but it seems like there's some conflict there like if she adopts kind of what her father was preaching I, why would picard well i think, I think like she she, she twisted or like yeah. you know she went overboard where her father did not i think picard's point is that she is not doing what her father would have wanted that's yeah why that's he brings what really quote. sets her off where, yeah, yeah. He, he brings up the quote that's like hey your father would be very disappointed in you young lady I'm trying yeah, to think like, of Fuck like a you. real, you don't a know real my life, dad. That's why he brings up example. That's why he brings up like the quote of like your father was the one who said the first freedom denied damages all us all irrevoc irrevocably. You know, like he's trying to say your own dad actually would disagree with yeah, you. Yeah, I just right have here, a problem so. with when he brings it up. <laughs> <laughs> like right after, hey, you were actually personally involved with the deaths of like 11K people. Yeah. Also, like there's a lot of Prime Directive stuff. <laughs> and that's, that's my other question too, is the Prime Directive stuff. Like how come Picard hasn't been I think, I think, I think the, about that stuff? I, I like, think the, the, the premise is in universe because premise, it's season is supposed four. to be that he submitted reports for them. And then and no one looked at him, <laughs> or 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 Starfleet looked over it and was He's like, like, "Hey, yeah, they didn't fine. think anything was wrong. I got yeah. I got out of it." So yeah, the like Starfleet's already got over my record. They think it's fine. Yeah, the uh, chill I mean, admiral was what? reviewing like, reports that day. They said like nine times or something. Yeah, nine times. Yeah, well, yeah, he's done it a lot. <laughs> like, yeah, yes, like, I'll I violate it. I'll violate it nine times. Yeah, I mean, he, that goes to show if he comes up against it, what, he's going to be like, oh, what's one more time? I mean, that's know, almost kind of matter. what happens sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Fine. It's power creep. I didn't get caught the last nine times or yeah. in trouble the last yeah. nine times. What's one more? And so it, it is interesting. And I do think that that does kind of open up questions about justice in this. The other thing too that they, they brought up that I, th I think was also really valid is that they were like, Hey, remember that time you brought over that Vulcan ambassador to yeah. the Romulan warbird and it turned out she was a Romulan spy the whole time. And then you didn't do anything for like a really long time though. Yeah. Like so, so like, can you explain that? And he doesn't really explain it. <laughs> well, Worf Worf tries says to explain like, for yeah. him. It's Worf's like, well, like, if oh, we if we tried to can. fight back, we would have the Enterprise would have been captured by the Romulans. Yeah, but then like, did they like just peace out and never follow up? Or it's you know definitely what I mean? shady. It's definitely well, the end shady. of that episode was yeah. more like, hey, like you let us be and we'll let you go. Okay, fine. <laughs> they just kind of like groan at each other just, and just take and fifteen off. years of intel deep intelligence with that, you. That's what it felt like at the time. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which no, is it was why crazy. it's like it a legit crazy. point now. It's like, well, yeah, they made off with fucking like years that's and years of intel. That's a lot of intel you you went away with. Uh, 
Why well, is the I Enterprise guess, involved? Fine, it's fine. All, all I'm trying to say is I'm glad this far in the future, I guess things haven't changed much from now. So No. To be fair, you know? they do. They bring that up in Star Trek a lot. It, like, you know, Picard goes, you know, in many ways, number one, we haven't changed very much at all. You know, no, a, we haven't. Like a, we haven't really changed much in Are that there way. any juxtaposed edits of Picard having, like, those hopeful speeches of what modern, like, Star Trek era, like, human is like versus that? <laughs> Uh, I don't know of any. We could we could look for them. You could probably do that, uh, like you know, <laughs> the aspirational. Like we've gotten past such you know barbaric blah blah blah. Oh, how far we think we've come. No, well, there's definitely uh, ones I've made where it's like uh, we've de- we've come so far as human race, and then like Picard's just shooting someone's head off. So, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so uh, he's not and- above doing that. It's not above expl- exploding Wait, a guy's did they, head Wait, did off. they actually connect that? I think they even mentioned like offhand in the episode that Sar- that Sati was like the head investigator of that like parasite in- invasion. Oh, really? Was she in- involved inside in that of too? Starfleet. Oh, I think okay. they mentioned it like when okay. Starfleet was, was you know, in- infiltrated by something. Like okay. she was leading that as well. Okay. So she, she helped with that as well. Which All means right. she was working at the time. Okay. So something else I thought of is that if this character exists with these motivations, she would have been after Picard's ass a long time ago. That's true. She, she would have been after. Back. Yeah. Like she, as soon as he got back from like the Borg thing, it's like, what the fuck? Why are you letting him take command again? Like she would have been <laughs> all up in arms. She would have unretired herself. It, she would have been like, there's been two starfleet wide conspiracies yeah. to take Con- over yes <laughs> yes actually connected to one man coincidentally like trying to write this stuff like <laughs> aside like those two incidents alone are really big deals yeah but you know the, uh, it's fine it's over don't <laughs> he worry killed about it. All don't, ships. don't think about that <laughs> <laughs> okay well since i'm not thinking that hard about it i do give this episode i think an eight all right. Yeah, all right. because all right. I like like for the same reasons Marvin gave. Like I think it's really well acted. It's interesting, and the message, like Ricardo said, is really nice. But I also have Ricardo's problem with it, which is they bring up a lot of good points that it doesn't resolve very nicely. Yeah, the they dramatic just, they just go, and logical weights just don't really <laughs> align back, correctly for back. this to work out the way it did. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. It, the the episode was too good at pointing out things about the card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. And you're it's right. great because like he just like kind of like puts his hand in his yeah, face he was, in his he, hand. He, he, he just looks palm. down. He can't he face the anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he really has no good answer for that. He has yeah. no like, answer. Damn. He it's has like, no well, answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you know what? Your dad's a bitch. <laughs> Well, you know, your dad would call you a bitch. Actually, yes. Yes, I'm sorry. That is the more correct assessment. Your dad would call you a bitch. Uh, and, and that's uh, that's the drum head. That's how the drum head ends. Uh, all right. Well, that's that's the drum head. Uh, it's one of, one, of the, one of the classic courtroom drama episodes of Star Trek. Of which I like there courtroom are many. drama episodes. Yeah. They, yeah. Have, they have a good number of uh, courtrooms. When you run out of money, do a courtroom drama episode. <laughs> Because uh, you could just have people just sit in a room and give really good performances because a lot of them are good actors. Yeah, actors and we, we kept noticing Marvin, the cheap office chair everyone was sitting on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what Sarah kept pointing out. Sarah oh, kept because pointing it has out. like that obvious like pneumatic lever bar. Yeah, yeah. And- <laughs> I was just yeah, like, it's, why? It's, it's, why are they all sitting on this? They have this the opposite problem. Instead of like a few, fu- like being a, like a stupid future chair, it's like a stupid it's 19, way too mundane. Uh, like 1990s <laughs> chair. <laughs> that wouldn't like, exist in the future Why are they sitting anymore? on this as the courtroom <laughs> or like, why isn't there something a little bit more official, but. It's the, a bottle the, episode and they didn't have money for a new chair. The funny like, part is the fucking chair. chair. The audience, like the in the in the they drum have head cooler room, chairs. Yeah, yeah, they have they have cooler chairs that seem <laughs> to fit. Chairs. They look yeah. like the ten <laughs> forward chairs. Yeah, they have cooler chairs. Why did they put the, the they're, person yeah? They're being sitting on the the stackable ten four. No, oh, it's yeah. an inter- it's a, it's an interrogation <laughs> tactic. You put them on the uncomfortable <laughs> bitch office ass chair. office chair <laughs> from from the from the twentieth century. Yeah, you know. 
It, it's they totally know what an office era of chair. chair it is. And they have like other it's like swiveling future chairs from other sets, like from Picard's own ready room. Or why not just wheel it over? Oh for my that god, scene? they should have put them on that <laughs> no, that no. weird that weird chair. That's is it Bad in Warp's room? The weird, oh yeah, the with black the balls. One with yeah. the balls. That's what it should have been. That like weird. Oh, they, chair. they all they're all forced to sit on the weird yeah. balls. The balls chair. Uh, yeah, that would yeah. be a pretty great gag for like <laughs> just just any show where like everyone has to try sitting in the chair. And everyone ends up seeing it completely differently <laughs> and at awesome. the end just like in arrest development there's like five of these chairs and exactly. they all sit down and they're all in a different ways oh man and then they all look at each other and then they all try to adjust to each other and no one ends up in the exact same position <laughs> uh, that's comedy <laughs> very good that's the drum head and this has been our discussion of the drum head here on newbie star trek if you guys have been liking what you're listening to uh, maybe you could give us a, a rating or a review uh, wherever Please you are do. yeah uh, you could be listening slash watching this on youtube you could be listening to it on spotify or apple podcasts or podcast addict those are all places where you can give reviews google podcasts despite being like the third biggest podcast portal for some reason you still can't leave any reviews on it i mm. don't know why google podcasts um. is this way uh, they made it this far. They're not going to start now. Well, that's kind of the Google mentality, actually, <laughs> about many things. So I think that's kind of what's really going on. Uh, yeah. But yeah, but that's that's that. And also, if you guys ever want to send us an email, you can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. We got oh, one. Oh, wait, wait. I got to say happy Mardi oh. Gras. To those oh. that celeb- celebrate. Oh, it's Mardi starting Gras now? today. What is Mardi Gras? What Mardi, is Mardi Gras? Gras? Oh, it's Mardi starting Gras. today? Okay. No, it's right. today. Well, not starting today. It was today. Oh, okay. What is Mardi Gras? Is it only a one-day celebration? Yes. I, oh, okay. I thought Gras? it was a week-long thing. No. Oh. Well, I mean, you can uh, you can celebrate it all weekend and all day, but Mardi Gras today is right. Mardi Gras. What is, Mar- what is Mardi Gras? What is Mardi Gras? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is a celebration in which you- Fat Tuesday. A fat Tuesday, yes. Um, you show your boobs and you get boobs. No, <laughs> That's kidding. all it's for. That's, That's all, all it's all about. For. That's all Mardi Gras is about. There's no uh, other culture no, behind it whatsoever. And then your <laughs> and then your good friends of Simpsons just, just might drop it's, by it's, to wish uh, you luck. It's, it's the last day of the carnival season. So It's like supposed to be globe. before Lent. Yeah. 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 It's like, so it's basically there's, it's, there's, it's before Lent and stuff. Here, yeah, I'm going to yeah, say yeah, there's too many holidays. Yeah. We've got to get rid of, some, rid of some of these holidays and and, and <laughs> re- institute some some like like logical things like the day after <laughs> the day after the fucking the day after the goddamn Super Bowl. Why are we going to work, dude? <laughs> <laughs> why yeah. fucking make Mardi Gras fucking the day after the Super Bowl and boom, you take it off, everybody, take it off. Yeah. So I mean, basically, it's cool. It's Fat Tuesday, which means you're you're kind of preparing for Lent. You're doing all the sinful bad. So it's a things. religious thing. Uh, you're eating uh, it. it's 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 wait a minute no it's basically like the period Catholic, before yeah. Lent yes uh, no. and so you're doing all the sinful things you're and you're doing you're eating all the chocolates you're eating all the good food you're having all the sex don't then, then we the get Romulan diabetes be. yeah getting your Romulan <laughs> diabetes and then you go on to Lent where you give up your whatever and then you yeah right. but you, you give know up what? your Lent. You give up your <laughs> yeah. your sex and your chocolate and your wine and whatever else. All and right. then, uh, yeah. So happy Mardi Gras, everyone. All right. Well, in terms of letters, we have two really quick letters this week. They're very quick. Uh, one is from Jacob. Uh, this was actually from last week, which when you're listening to this would be two weeks ago, but that helps for understanding the timing of this. Uh, hey, gang, love the podcast. I thought I'd share something you might appreciate. I went to the Picard season three New York City premiere at the 92nd oh. Street last night. After the screening, the main cast did a Q&A when Gates McFadden, who plays Dr. Beverly Crusher, was asked about the medical expertise of her character, she immediately acknowledged the mass of dead patients that Crusher left in her wake. (laughs) (laughs) Really? Oh my god, really? I thought you might appreciate her acknowledgement. No, it's not just you. Even McFadden thinks Crusher was a terrible doctor. Oh man, that is so validating. That is really validating, (laughs) That means our interpretation is the correct interpretation. (laughs) It's the correct one. We're just like, damn, she's not really a great doctor. Suck it, nerds. Her name is Galen. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, 
Her name is indeed Galen, and that's an un- unassailable. <laughs> Galen. <laughs> Freaking nerds. <laughs> Galen. Oh, my God, Galen. And oh also, God. Uh, the second email uh, is from Mike McBride, and Mike says, I can't believe with all the random movies that are referenced on the show, Lawnmower Man wasn't brought up for ever- what everyone I've ever known that's aware of the nth degree refers to oh, as yeah. the Lawnmower Man episode, because yeah, that's, that's what true. this was a direct takeoff of. I've actually never seen the Lawnmower Man so I don't I know. Actually yeah. either. I have I, not I've either. Seen what is it about? Uh, we got to do it. We got to do a watch. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, there, anyway. like, it's, it's like it's like VR shit, dude. Okay. Oh, it's really? like VR shit. Okay. I'm almost certain I remember seeing a wireframe like VHS box in a bunch of video stores like o- across the years of my life, but I've never actually picked it up and watched it. Yeah. Oh. It, it's 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 one of those movies where where you're like, ah, fuck, it was so close to being really, really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, There's some okay. interesting concepts, but it just ahead, wasn't a well executed. Time. Not, not yeah, the yeah. Do they play yard work simulator in it? <laughs> no. Uh anyway, when it comes to Barkley, he was a personal favorite of my mom's. I still remember her excitement what? after seeing his first appearance, and my brothers and I, brothers and I thinking he was lame. You don't understand. This is great, she would say. Everyone on the show is so perfect. And finally, we have a real person, someone who is just like the rest of us. Uh, love someone your guys. who watches <laughs> porn and you know messes up and arrives yeah, late Yeah, like the to rest work. of us. Yeah. Like the rest of us. So relatable. Love your guys' show. And if I may suggest something, a part of the TNG experience you are missing out on, and this was a big part of it for people growing up with it, is the previews for the following week's episode. There would be excitement when the little banner would say, new episode. Sometimes during a boring episode, it would be the highlight of the show. I invite (laughs) you to to look some up and watch just for the hilariously excited announcer. I always loved how he would really hit the star in Star Trek. Fellow fan of Disturbed, Mike McBride. Uh, so <laughs> disturbed. Oh my god. <laughs> so, oh no. So actually, that, I will never live that down. <laughs> I actually would like to invite everyone into the Discord chat so I can share my screen. Uh, okay. So because I want to actually share this with you guys. Oh boy. Okay, let me know if this works. One, two, three, play. Yes. The twenty fourth century continues. Oh, wow. On Star Trek, the next generation. Star Trek. Oh, yeah, I hear that now. All the drama, Star the Trek. wonder, <laughs> and excitement of Gene Roddenberry's oh. original Oh, I love the karate. Yeah. Here in a new age oh, yeah, that was an episode you missed, Sarah. Whoa. What's Follow the, the one where he the almost Starship Enterprise steps and the lives into space of her there. Crew. On Star Trek, <laughs> the next generation. Star On Trek. On Star Trek. <laughs> Should we say oh, it like that, a that Star is good. Trek? <laughs> now, okay, now so that my neat. attention's been brought to it, like, yeah. pointedly, I, yeah. I, it's probably going to worm its way into my like mind now. <laughs> on Star oh, Trek. Trek. I have to say it's Star Trek from now on. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. But now we have f- successfully cool, extracted the correct way to say Star Trek. <laughs> yes. Star Trek. So, thank exactly. you. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, that was, that's uh, that's. Our episode, uh, if you guys uh, want to check out the rest of the stuff we do, we have a website. It's called FugitiveFrames.com. If you just head on over there, there's links to all the stuff we do, like the Fugitive Frames film podcast, the Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Fugitive Games YouTube channel, and a Mm -hmm. bunch of other stuff we do and stuff like that. So yeah. Uh, Next week, we're going to watch an episode called Half a Life. And there is a character returning that, uh, you know, we haven't seen yet this season. So. Really? Gordon oh, Freeman. I'm excited. <laughs> Gordon Freeman. Exactly. I am excited to. Um, oh, no. 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 Never. Hell never. No. never. <laughs> Get him away. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see this character return next week. But until then, stay safe, everybody. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> next Take time. care, y'all. You just did the next star you. Next time on Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs>